So I hate to be the bearer of bad news today, but there's a good chance that you are standing in your own way. I know it's not something I wanted to come here and tell you today, but it's the truth because I often see creators sabotaging their own growth. Good news, bad news is you're doing this. That's the bad news. The good news is you can fix it. There are ways to fix this about your content. So let's cover some of the ways that you are sabotaging your own growth and how to fix them today. Let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today and we are covering six ways that you are sabotaging your own content. I know, it's like not the thing that we really want to talk about. It's not the fun, shiny, sexy new thing to try out or a fun tip or hack, but it's the thing that we really need to address if you want to see real growth with your content. So there are actually 11 in total that I cover in this week's episode of The Profit Podcast. So there's going to be a link here on the screen in the video description for you to go check that out. So I wanted to cover six of those today and you can go listen to the rest on The Profit Podcast. So let's just dive right in. So number one, the first way that you're sabotaging your content growth is you're only creating content on one platform. Let's be real, in this day and age, whenever you discover an influencer or someone that you just fell in love with what they're creating, you wanna see them everywhere. You wanna see, do they have a podcast? Do they have a YouTube channel? Do they have a website with a blog? Do they have an Instagram? Can I get on their email list? Have they done other fun things out there in the world? And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, you need to have all of those things tomorrow, but I will say that you are limiting your growth if you are only creating in one place. I think back to whenever I got started with my podcast back in 2018, if you had told me one day that I would have all these different touch points for my audience, I would have said, you're crazy. There's no way. I don't have the bandwidth to make that happen. Well, today, several years into creating my content, I do have a podcast, a blog, a YouTube channel, email list, Instagram. Like I do have these places where I show up on a regular basis and it has exponentially helped me grow my authority, grow my influence in the content creation space. And I think that it's just one of those things that if you have put yourself into this box that you're only a podcaster, you're only a YouTuber, you only show up in this one specific way, it's going to limit your growth. So I'm gonna encourage you to expand your mind and think about ways that you can show up on more than one platform so you aren't sabotaging your own growth. So that is number one. The second way that you are sabotaging your growth is not doing any SEO, none whatsoever. And this is one thing that I really grapple with on like coming down hard with you as like a coach saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. Because it took me a long time to even understand SEO. I will be the first one to tell you, I did not wake up and say, I'm gonna start an online business and I know how to do SEO. I am the expert in, no, none of that, none of that. I'm still constantly learning about search engine optimization, but I can tell you that once it clicked and I got it, the organic growth soon followed. And I was able to see, oh, people can actually find my YouTube videos. People can find things that I put on my podcast because they know that my show notes are out there. Like they can type something into Google or a search engine and my website is popping up. That did not happen randomly. It didn't happen by happenstance. It happened because I learned SEO. So in this day and age, I'm going to tell you that it's not something that you can say, I'll figure that out later on. It's something that you need to be investing time in today to really understand it. And I actually have some SEO resources that I'll link to in the video description that can help you. If you are brand new to this, or you're like, I don't even know where to get started. I want you to check out those resources because you cannot afford to ignore SEO anymore. It's something that you need to do in order for your content to continue to grow. So that is strategy number two. And then the third way that you're sabotaging your own content growth is you're not marketing your own 
content. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on about this for hours, probably days, weeks, and months because what happens? Creators will come to me and say, Crystal, I've been putting out regular consistent content on my podcast, on my YouTube, on my blog, and things just aren't happening. What am I doing wrong? And then when I ask them, well, what is your marketing plan? What are you, are you creating sound bites? Are you creating short video clips? Are you putting your content teasers out there? Are you sharing with your audience or your potential audience what you're creating? And they're looking at me like, no. Like, I am just barely making it. Like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel of my energy source to just put the thing out there. And now you're telling me I have to actually market it too? Yeah, you do. If you want people to know that it's there, especially if you're spending hours and hours editing, creating this beautiful masterpiece of content and you're not telling anybody, you're wasting your time. Oh, I hate to even say that, but it's the harsh reality that you need to face that if you are spending hours creating this thing, then you're not telling anybody about it. You're wasting your time. So I need you to get in the mindset of, I'm gonna spend just as much time, if not more, if not more, promoting what you are creating instead of just spending all your time, energy, and effort into creating the thing that you are making for your audience. So you have to learn how to be a better marketer or how to learn marketing, period. I have tons of strategies that I want you to check out. I have some content marketing videos that you'll see here, and I'm gonna link to them in the video description below, but it's really important. You can't afford to ignore marketing anymore. It is the thing that will make all the difference for your content growth. So that is the third thing that we need to talk about here today. The fourth way that you're sabotaging your own growth, and this is gonna be controversial, but I'm gonna say it, you are spending way too much time editing. You are, and that was like, ooh, she's talking to me now, this just got personal. Yeah, it did, because you are spending so much time on your podcast, you're editing out ums, or deep breath sounds, or long pauses. I've had people tell me, I spent 15 minutes recording this podcast episode, then it takes me six to eight hours to edit it. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, are you joking me? Are you serious? Like, is this really what is happening in your content? Or you spend 10 minutes creating a YouTube video and then you're editing it for hours. You're putting 20 hours into this 10 or 15 minute video and I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, do you know how much more content you could have created? Do you know how much time you could have invested in learning SEO strategies to get that same video out to thousands more people, but we're stuck in this perfectionist cycle of comparing our content to someone else's. So we're like, oh, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. I have to do this in order for it to be this caliber of content. And it's just not the case. I mean, I'm a prime example that I've created more than a thousand podcast episodes. Yes, I said 1,000 podcast episodes between the Profit Podcast and the Potty Report. I've published more than a thousand episodes. I've published more than 400 YouTube videos. And I gotta tell you, the thing that's made me better is not my editing skills, it's creating the content. It is doing the thing, not pretending that the thing that I created was incredible. It was just actually doing it. So you are actually sabotaging your own growth by spending so much time on specifically editing when you could be marketing, you could be learning SEO, you could be learning other marketing tactics, but not just putting your head down, saying this isn't good enough, you're beating yourself up, like let's stop all of that. Let's get to the point where you're like, I'm okay putting this out into the world and knowing I'm gonna be better 12 months from now than I am right now today, even myself. I still believe this. I'm learning constantly and I'm growing and I'm learning tips and strategies and I just tell myself 
I'm gonna be better 12 months from now and I say this video is good enough, this podcast is good enough, this email newsletter is good enough and I hit send, I hit publish, I schedule it to be out into the world because I know that me spending more time editing something, y'all, it's never gonna be perfect anyway. So I get it to the point where it's good enough for me, I hit publish and then I move on. But this actually brings me to a great point in the video to ask, what are your questions about editing or making this process easier or content marketing? I want to know. So tell me in the comments your questions about content marketing, about editing, whether it's podcasts or YouTube videos, let me know because I want to know your specific questions. Okay, let's get back to the video. The fifth way that you are sabotaging your own content growth is you're not showing up consistently. Now, I kinda got on a soapbox about editing. I could get on a higher soapbox about not showing up consistently. And what it all boils down to is if your audience doesn't know when you're going to show up, why would they show up for you? I know, it's harsh. I told you today, today's video was gonna be a little bit like rough around the edges because these are the things that I see on a regular basis. It is the reason why I'm creating this video. It's because people are coming to me saying, Crystal, my podcast isn't growing. I hit a wall on my YouTube channel and I can't get any more subscribers or this happened, that happened. And I'm like, well, when was the last time you published something? And they're like, well, when I got around to it, I published something last month. I'm like, oh, was it on the same time last month? Well, no, it was just whenever I had time for it and I was able to you know, hit the publish button, then it was out. I'm like, it's not good enough, okay? You need to publish on a consistent basis. Now, consistent can mean many, many things to you. It could mean once a week. It could mean once every other week. It could mean five times a week. Like it's so different for everybody, but you have to establish this consistent schedule because I can tell you as a fan of a lot of podcasts, of a lot of YouTube channels, and a lot of emails that I get on a regular basis, I know when it's gonna hit my phone, right? Whenever I'm gonna see that notification, like, oh, there's a new podcast out. Oh, I just got my weekly email. Or, okay, that person just hit, put out another YouTube video. I'm gonna go watch it right now because there's a cadence. It is a habit that I have built into my personal weekly schedule that I know, okay, this is gonna come out on Monday, then I'm gonna listen to this one podcast on Tuesday, then on Wednesday I have this, like, I have a schedule. And your audience will too whenever you show up consistently. So stop sabotaging your growth and start showing up on a regular basis for your content. And the last and final way, the sixth way that you may be sabotaging your content growth is not having a strategic plan for your content. This is something that like I just, my heart breaks when people come to me and they just don't have a clue. They don't, there's no process, there's no rhyme or reason, there's no system, there's no workflow in place for them to publish their content. And it's one of those things that you don't know what you don't know. But I have learned from studying so many content creators, from podcasters to YouTubers to people that are doing awesome stuff on social media, they have a plan, they have a strategy. Even if it's a simple strategy or a super complex strategy, they have a strategy. And it's one of those things that I think that if you don't have a strategy, then you're not going to continue to grow. You can't just bake on the fact that, oh, I hope someone will Google exactly what I put out into the world and I'm gonna go viral today. It's not a good strategy. And I hope that's not what you're doing with your content. And actually, if you are looking for a strategy, then I encourage you to get on my wait list for Radical Repurposing. This is my program that is launching in October 2022. So if you're watching this later, then maybe you already bought the program and you love it, or maybe you're waiting for the next round to open up. But this is something that is strategy focused. Like there are so many strategy lessons in this program. And I think it's really important that you understand that all the repurposing that I have been able to do in my content didn't just happen. It was a strategy. It was a very methodical, thought out strategy. 
And it has everything to do with how I've been able to continue to grow in my podcast, in my YouTube, on my blog, the website traffic that I get, on my email list, on social, all the things have been thought out and intentionally set into place so that I can continue to repurpose my content. So I am working smarter and not harder. And that is what I want for you too. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash waitlist to get notified for the next time that Radical Repurposing opens. You'll get updates, you'll get tips, you'll get all kinds of things of what we're doing. We actually have a free training that is coming up if you're watching this in real time on October 18th. It's my first training of easy peasy content. So this is six ways that I'm gonna show you how to save five plus hours every single week creating your content. Like five hours at a minimum is what you will save whenever you go to this training. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash easy to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash easy to register for easy peasy content. But that's all I have for you today. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe below so you don't miss our future videos all about content strategy, repurposing, and just everything content creation. Check out these other videos right here. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.